right.media. Good evening and welcome to the Swasu Coaches Show. I'm Mike Smith and we'll start this evening's program with women's basketball coach Kelsey Music and coach as always thanks for the visit. Thanks for having me. You bet 2-0 and start in the GAC so the opening weekend very successful for the Swasu Lady Bulldogs last week with wins over Southeastern Oklahoma State and also Oklahoma Baptist. Yes, we, you know, I don't think we played up to our potential on Thursday versus Southeastern but we were able to escape with a win and that's what matters most. And then um, we kind of had a slow start on Saturday versus OBU and we really got it going and we're able to to close that game out strong. I felt like in the second half of the Oklahoma Baptist game, you got the tempo pretty much where you wanted it. And once you were able to establish that, uh, that kind of allowed you to put your foot on the accelerator and not let up. Yeah, I think that was kind of key because I knew that they would want to try to slow us down, especially if they chose to zone us. And they didn't zone us until very late in the game. So when he was able, when he manned us, I thought it was a, we were able to get the tempo back to where we needed it and uh, speed speed them up. And that was able to help us get some, you know, some runs scoring wise, and to be able to get some stops and to be able to create a gap. Bethany Franks playing really well this season. The last couple of ball games, she's been able to uh, knock down the mid-range jumper. She's also been very active on the boards as well. Absolutely, and that's imperative for us. I mean, she has such a good mid-range game, and she creates a mismatch in that post position. Um, so she was able to make those shots, which she's been able to do for quite quite some time now, but I think she's kind of finding her rhythm and finding her zone again to where she can be extremely successful in that area for us. You know, we've talked about this particular um, aspect for a little while is what would it be like getting back to playing home games in front of the home crowd? What did it feel like the last couple of ball games to be back home in front of the uh, the, the friendly fans at uh, Pioneer Cellular Event Center? It's been great. I think it helps uh, help really helps us get going and just to have have a, a crowd, have people yelling for us. It's been great having the cheer the cheerleaders and the Palm Squad and you know, when the band was there, it's just been great. Um, and I think it's just, um, it's a huge advantage whenever you are playing at home and you have that that home court crowd and they're kind of able to to banter with the other team and just, just kind of get us going. And when we go on runs or make a big play or ma make some big threes, they really get, get a little bit hyped up. And I think it really does help our team and creates momentum and creates that home court advantage that, you know, sports long for. It certainly does. And, and I think it, it, you know, provides a different energy in the air because you, you can feel that in the air. Um, even not being a player, I, I can I can feel that energy in the air and, and the players have to feed off of that, I'm sure. Oh, absolutely. I think it makes a huge, huge difference. I mean, you know, these girls work really hard, you know, since we get on campus in August when we're in the preseason and we're running early mornings and you're doing all that and they pay a, they pay a price they you know they come to practice they do study hall they have a lot of a lot of demands put upon them but they get to display that in front of a crowd and that makes it all worth it whenever you get to put that put that product and that they get to display their talents and show all the things that we've worked on in front of a, a large group it just makes it fun and worthwhile and like you said it creates an energy and gives us a spark and allows us to get some momentum as well, I believe. All right, fans with an opportunity to come out and put some more energy in the Pioneer Cellular Remote Center on Saturday as East Central comes to town, Coach. Absolutely. You know, that's always a good game. They always bring their best basketball. They are one of the teams that broke one of our streaks a couple years ago. So 
Um, it's always a battle when we play East Central. Um, they sh like to shoot the three ball too, so it'll be a, a, a battle of the three point line to a certain extent. They get out. They like to get out and run and shoot some transition buckets. So we've we've really got to bring it and step up our defensive game um, going into Saturday. All right, head coach Kelsey Music. Thanks for the visit on the Swasuit Coaches Show. Good luck this weekend, and we'll talk to you again next week. Thank you. All right, thank you very much, and we'll have more of the Swasuit Coaches Show coming up next. Are you considering home health and hospice for a loved one? Shepherd Home Health and Hospice in Clinton knows that this is one of the most important decisions that you will ever make. This is your loved one, after all. Shepherd Home Health and Hospice is a trusted name in the home health and hospice industry. Locally owned and operated since 2006, Shepherd Home Health and Hospice has serviced Clinton and the surrounding areas with caring and dependable service. See what Shepherd Home Health and Hospice can do for you and your loved one today. There's a new energy in Oklahoma. Wind and natural gas working together, keeping your energy prices steady and affordable. Clean, affordable, natural gas and wind. Oklahoma's new energy from PSO. There's a new energy in Oklahoma. Wind and natural gas working together, creating jobs and more money for communities and schools. Clean, affordable, natural gas and wind. Oklahoma's new energy from PSO. Weatherford Regional Hospital is committed to serving Western Oklahoma with the best facilities, technologies, and employees. Everything from the convenient care clinic to the highly trained oncology department to the top of the line mammography and x-ray equipment, down to the women's center, nursery, and emergency room. Weatherford Regional Hospital strives to provide you with a safe, clean, comfortable environment. Give them a call today or check them out online at weatherfordhospital.com. Need your oil and filter changed? Take your vehicle to CJ Southwest Tire in Weatherford. There is no appointment needed. Bring your car, truck, or diesel in today. You can wait in the comfort of their smoke-free lounge while experienced technicians change your oil and filter on your vehicle. CJ Southwest Tire on the corner of Maine and Kansas in Weatherford. Your Bridgestone and Firestone dealer. CJ Southwest Tire. See them on Facebook and at cjsouthwesttire.com. And we're back on the Swasu Coaches Show. I'm Mike Smith, and we were joined by women's basketball player Bethany Franks. And, uh, Bethany, thanks for the visit on this week's edition of the Swasu Coaches Show. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Well, thanks for uh, coming aboard. Uh, talk a little bit about the uh, season. Obviously, uh, you decided to come back and, and play another season as a senior. Talk a little bit about uh, your thoughts coming back and, and playing for the Lady Dogs this season. Um, I think I couldn't have made a better decision, honestly. I think... For sure, personally, I would have regretted it um, had I not taken advantage of the COVID year. Um, this team has definitely been unique in many ways. We're young. Um, they're learning. Every day is something new as far as teaching and learning. Um, so it's been kind of cool to just be on the other end of the spectrum as far as teaching rather than learning now. But um, they're soaking it all in. And I think, especially since, you know, game one against Jury, like they've grown so much. Um, already, so super proud of him. What's it like for you being the only senior on the team? Uh, obviously, you're probably playing that leadership role right now this season. Um, it's unique. Uh, I don't think we've had a situation like that since I've been here, really. Um, but Lauren Ramey, she's also you know one that's been here a long time as well. She helps with leadership and things like that. Um, and then just our starting five in general. I feel like it's pretty experienced just within our program um, and just college basketball in general. Um, we have, you know, the Gore Twins, they play D1. Mac, she's been here. Um, she's seasoned their vet and they help as far as like the teaching and all of that with all of our new people. And so it's been great not to be like by myself, but um, in a sense to kind of get that role sometimes to just know what I know just because I've been here. 
It's an interesting mix, though, isn't it, this season? Because on one hand, we say the team is young. On the other hand, yes, they're young, but they're experienced in a way because you have players that's played here for a year or two, and because of COVID, they're still sophomores or juniors or, or what have you, and you're the only senior on the team. So in one way, yes, they're young, but in the other way, yes, they have experience. Right, and I think it it's a positive and it's a negative at times, but I mean, so far it's been pretty positive just because they've been able to, like I said, learn from their mistakes and to work on things and really just apply themselves and they're willing to be students of the game, which is important. Um, I was talking with the Gore Twins the other day and I hadn't even realized that they haven't been to an Arkansas trip. And so it feels like they've been here, you know, for a while now, but they're still young in a sense as well. So it's just, it's odd just because of the way that things have gone, but um, it's just fun at the same time, just because, you know, people are getting to experience new things and um, I'm getting to experience them again and again and again. So um, it's different, but I feel like a lot of teams are having that kind of just hitch in their team right now, just as far as a balance and trying to figure out how to mesh. What's it like for you this season, though? I mean, last year you didn't get to take really any road trips out of state, so we've had the opportunity to play out of state some this season and some more games in Arkansas and conference play later in the year. Does it feel good to be able to be able to branch out once again and, and play those out of state games? Absolutely. I mean, and it goes beyond just playing in those places. I feel like a lot of people um, on the outside looking in, they don't see you know, the importance of just traveling with a team and things like that. It's helped with bonding and um, just getting to know the younger ones because it is, it's hard to relate sometimes just with the age gap and things like that and finding that mix and clicking in a sense. But I feel like the road trips and, you know, hotels and things like that and being forced in a sense to be around each other has been good just to kind of bridge that gap. Talk a little bit about the season for Bethany Franks. What's it been like early in the season? You've really hit that mid-range jumper really well the last couple of ball games. Uh, they've left you alone, and uh, you made the opposition pay. I mean, it's just this. I keep telling myself this year is just, you know, a have fun type year. Um, there's no pressure. There's no stress. There's, there's nothing. I've been here. Um, I'm the vet. I've done it. I've seen it. And so I'm just kind of letting myself just have fun with it. And I think when you do that with anything, you know, things come pretty naturally and they happen pretty easily um, just because you're enjoying what you're doing and you're not worrying about too many things. But um, my teammates are great. They help with that kind of stuff, you know, as far as my confidence and things like that. Um, but yeah, just have fun with it. I mean, it's my last go around and I know that for sure this time. So just having fun with it and, you know, day by day is what I say. So. Sounds good. As you look ahead in the GAC this season, um, what are the goals of the team right now? I'm um, just to keep learning for sure. I mean, you guys have seen the growth, obviously, just mm -hmm. in spurts and the progress that we're making, but um, there's something to be learned every single day. Um, film has been huge for us, just going back and teaching them how to watch film and correct their mistakes and things like that, because, I mean, conference is great. It's great to you know, win those games and things like that. But we're really looking at the bigger picture and trying to worry about, you know, things that are that we need to prepare for in March and things like that. So that's why we really stress the importance of, you know, the games at the beginning and the non-conference games and things like that, because like I said, they're new, so they don't really understand the importance of those in that moment. But um, just working towards things down the line and getting them to understand, you know, that these are really important to knock out these conference games and to get wins and things like that. But those non-conference games and the experience that comes with those is what's going to help us in March and things like that. All right. Sounds good. Bethany Franks, thanks for the visit on the Swasu Coaches Show and continued success throughout the season. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bethany Franks with us on the Swasu Coaches Show. More coming up next. When it's time to unwind, pick up a bottle of your favorite stuff at Butcher's Wine and Spirits in Weatherford. 
all the top brands at the absolute best price. From whiskey, bourbon, gin, and scotch to your favorite craft, import, or domestic beer, Butchers has you covered. And when it comes to wine, Butchers has the best selection in town. And don't forget to check out their sale rack with deep discounts. Butchers Wine and Spirits on Main in Weatherford. Your parents have always protected you and provided the best way they knew how. Now it's your turn to make sure that they are taken care of. Corn Heritage Village and Rehab of Corn and Weatherford is a community providing long-term and skilled nursing care to enhance the lives and meet the needs of individuals and families. Their mission is to provide the highest level of care for your loved ones. Visit them at cornheritage.org or find them on Facebook. Family and CK Energy Electric Cooperative, it's the ideal partnership. CK Energy makes every customer an owner of the business. Unlike other electric utilities, CK Energy exists to make sure your needs are always met, not to make a profit. We are locally owned and operated, and we are always there with you, reinvesting in your community. That's why in an electric co-op, the people have the power. Owned by our communities, committed to our members. CK is your energy. On the corner of Custer and Main Street in Weatherford, More Than Medicine stands ready to fill your prescriptions in a fast, friendly, and professional way. They also offer an outstanding selection of gifts for people of all ages. Their Gold Crown Hallmark card selection is second to none, and More Than Medicine is the perfect place for a bridal registry. All this, that's why it's called More Than Medicine. Corner of Main and Custer in Weatherford. They're on call for you 24 hours a day. And we're back on the Swansea Coaches Show. Mike Smith joined by assistant men's basketball coach Keith Richardson, Jr. Thanks for the visit. Oh, no problem. Excited to be here. Excited yeah, to be here. Yeah. Well, we're, we're glad to have you on the program, Coach, and uh, talk a little bit about, uh, if you would, maybe just tell everybody a little bit about the role of the assistant coach. What is it that, that you do when you're, when you're helping Coach Evans, and what's your role as an assistant uh, on the basketball program? Uh, well, you know, you kind of, you kind of got your hands in everything, uh, as the assistant coach, you know, you kind of, the uh, mediator between the, the head coach and the players, uh, you know, on top of that, you want to be able to, to coach them hard, but, uh, you know, that the ins and out, all the stuff that, that people don't want to do, you know, the assistant coaches has to get it done, especially on the division two level, uh, which I appreciate. And it makes you appreciate things because I've coached on several different levels so you know it's different roles assistant coaches play on uh from the division one level to the junior college level uh and now the, the division two level so uh you kind of got your hands in in a bunch of different things uh when you're talking about assistant coaching role uh but like i said i enjoy it uh i don't even look at it as work because i enjoy coming and doing it every day Coach, what, what do you think about the team this season? I mean, uh, one non-conference win over Eastern New Mexico, a couple of tough losses in the GAC, and, and it just really feels like the men are, are, are right there on the cusp of getting some of some victories. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, uh, to answer your question at first about what do I think about the team, uh, I really like this team. Uh, you know, we kind of wanted to bring in uh, more versatility. Uh, we wanted to get bigger obviously, uh, to solve some problems that we've had in the past. But uh, the last few years, we've been trying to really work on uh, kind of changing the culture, uh, getting to a, a winning culture. Uh, and so that's been uh, good, having guys come back like uh, Camden Gibson and, and Chris Braggs Jr. Uh, you got Damian Thornton. So you got some guys that's been here three and four years in your basketball program that can kind of set the tone. And uh, like you said, uh, we're right there. I think we are obviously right there. We've lost a ton of close games the last few years. So I think these guys are in the midst of really learning how to win. Um, you know, we, we got to get them over the hump. You know, it's our job to put them in position uh, to be successful. And, and we're getting there, and we're getting there. And we, we're going to keep working our butts off to get them there. Um, we feel like this is a year we, we'll turn the corner. Uh, I know we're staring one and five in the face, but uh, – our schedule has been really tough, uh, missing a big key piece, and uh, we don't shy away from competition. Uh, you know, I could give you a rundown on the teams that we've played um, as far as 
West Texas, they're 10 and one ranked top five in the nation. Uh, Oklahoma Baptist started the year out ranked, uh, picked to win our league. Southeastern's picked second or third in our league. They're six and one. Emporia six and two. Uh, Eastern New Mexico's four and four. Uh, so every team we've played, they have a winning record. Uh, so it's a credit to us, and I think our guys will learn that we're playing those types of programs, and you know we want to continue to to do that because uh, we don't shy away from competition. Talk about missing that key piece in Damian Thornton right now. And what will it be like when you get him back? Oh, it'll it'll make a world of difference. Uh, you know, a team's missing twenty and twelve a game. Uh, that's gonna that's gonna be a big piece. Uh, and the guys, you know, they'll they'll get better as well once he returns. You know, they'll be more comfortable. He'll make life a lot easier on on the other guys because the other teams. Uh, we'll have to focus on him. You know, they will have to game plan around him, and that's something that these teams that we've played hasn't had to do. So uh, he'll make life a lot easier, uh, especially on us coaches, on Coach Evans, for sure. And, you know, our, our other guys, they'll be more at ease. And, uh, you know, he fits right in in practice, everything. The chemistry's there. So we're just excited about uh, possibly getting him back on the court here pretty soon. Talk a little bit about uh, East Central coming in. That's the next opponent on Saturday. Uh, East Central, you know, they, they have a lot of returning players uh, that they had last year. Uh, we ended up going 2-1 and one against them last year. We had a pretty big game here against them last year where we set a team record uh, hitting 22 threes. And, uh, you know, we, we kind of got after them last year. So they have a new coach this year, uh, which he was on staff last year. So they're doing uh, – some of the same stuff, similar things and all that. But, you know, uh, we know the personnel. Uh, they're kind of the same players. And uh, I think we got a really good chance to, to knock them out when they come on in here uh, this Saturday. You know, kind of excited about getting back on the court. Kind of antsy on the way the whole week. But uh, it'll be a good one. It'll be a pretty good one. They'll come in and compete. They have some pretty good size inside. They're led on the inside by Josh Apple right now, scoring in double figures per game. Yes, yes. Uh, Apple's been a real – he's gotten better and better uh, the last few years. He's shown the most improvement to me. Uh, I think I mentioned this last year to Coach Evans uh, about his improvement. Uh, we usually have a pretty good game plan against him. You know, we we post double a lot, so that way he don't, he don't get going on us. Uh, he didn't play this last game uh, against Northwestern, but he played against Snoo, so I'm not sure what his status will be going into the game. But they'll have everybody else uh, – in full throttle so we'll game plan as if he's going to play but we're not real sure right now all right keith richardson jr assistant coach for the men's basketball squad thanks for visiting with us on the swassie coaches show good luck this weekend and uh, go dogs all right thank you you have a good one yep you too thank you very much and we'll come back with more of the swassie coaches show next are you considering home health and hospice for a loved one? Shepherd Home Health and Hospice in Clinton knows that this is one of the most important decisions that you will ever make. This is your loved one, after all. Shepherd Home Health and Hospice is a trusted name in the home health and hospice industry. Locally owned and operated since 2006, Shepherd Home Health and Hospice has serviced Clinton and the surrounding areas with caring and dependable service. See what Shepherd Home Health and Hospice can do for you and your loved one today. There's a new energy in Oklahoma. Wind and natural gas working together, keeping your energy prices steady and affordable. Clean, affordable, natural gas and wind. Oklahoma's new energy from PSO. There's a new energy in Oklahoma. Wind and natural gas working together, creating jobs and more money for communities and schools. Clean, affordable, natural gas and wind. Oklahoma's new energy from PSO. Weatherford Regional Hospital is committed to serving Western Oklahoma with the best facilities, technologies, and employees. Everything from the convenient care clinic to the highly trained oncology department to the top of the line mammography and x-ray equipment, down to the women's center, nursery, and emergency room. Weatherford Regional Hospital strives to provide you with a safe, clean, comfortable environment. Give them a call today or check them out online at weatherfordhospital.com.
need your oil and filter changed? Take your vehicle to CJ Southwest Tire in Weatherford. There is no appointment needed. Bring your car, truck, or diesel in today. You can wait in the comfort of their smoke-free lounge while experienced technicians change your oil and filter on your vehicle. CJ Southwest Tire on the corner of Maine and Kansas in Weatherford. Your Bridgestone and Firestone dealer. CJ Southwest Tire. See them on Facebook and at cjsouthwesttire.com. We're back on the Swansea Coaches Show. Mike Smith joined by the Bulldog of the Week on the men's side. It is uh, Camden Gibson visiting with us. And uh, Camden, thanks for the visit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nice to talk to you. Hey, good to talk to you as well. Talk a little bit about being named Bulldog of the Week. How do you feel about that this week? Uh, obviously, I'm honored to be able to get the get the honor for it. But uh, me personally, I'd rather have came out with two wins instead of the instead of the Bulldog Week. But I take it. I'm blessed to be able to wake up next day, play the game I love. So, all uh, thanks to God. Talk a little bit about the season. Uh, I know last week a couple of tough losses, and you had a couple of big three-point shots uh, against Southeastern Oklahoma State, one of which coming out of a timeout. And you, you hit that three-pointer. Did you think at that point when you hit it that uh, the Bulldogs uh, pretty much had the game in hand? I mean, one of, one of the things me and some of my close friends say it's not over till it's over. So I knew when I hit the shot, they, it's a two-possession game, but we're going against a great team, one of the best teams in the conference, if not – Right now, I'm one of the best team in the conference. So I knew they were going to come back, run some play, run, run something to give a, give themselves a chance to win. And obviously, they came down, scored, and missed free throw, and they scored again. So it's just the nature of the game, charge it to the game. Talk a little bit about right now uh, missing Damian Thornton. What is that like right now, and what will it be like when you get him back? Uh, well, you know, Damian is a big piece of this team. That's a, that's a walk-in double-double. I mean, a minimum of 10 and 10. So we're when he comes back, you're adding 20 points, probably to our score. You're adding 10, eight to 10 rebounds for sure, because he's gonna clean the glass up for us. And you're at, you're also adding another creator who can put the ball on the floor, create for his teammates, and also create for himself as well. It's just a, he's just all over all overall all around great player that we'll be happy to get back. Kind of had a a, a knee issue during the off season. How's it feeling right now? I'm getting better each day, each practice, each game. I just came from rehab right before this, so it's a. Uh, I'm just happy to be able to play, man. Cause it was sitting out. I've never sat out for two and a half months. I've never been out that long from the game. So doing it, I actually my mental of the game actually got stronger, and I actually got my legs actually fully 100% healthy. I'm still working on getting back there, my rhythm of the game, being out there. But I'm just growing each game, each practice, day by day. Talk a little bit about East Central University. It's a team that's coming in on Saturday. Um, they've kind of struggled a little bit this season. Your thoughts about the Tigers coming in on Saturday? Uh, well, they're another good team in the conference. Uh, one thing we, we pride ourselves on is if we control, we can control. I mean, I feel we're just a couple of made shots, a couple of defensive rebounds from being what we're one in five being from, I'd say, Fort Hayes and Western Texas A&M where – only two teams that really beat us. We the other games we beat ourselves. Besides winning at Eastern New Mexico, so we control. We control. Hit some shots. Rebound. Play better defense. Well, we should come out on top of a lot of. Camden Gibson, thanks for the visit on the Swasu Coaches Show. Good luck this weekend. Good luck throughout the season, and uh, let's go get some W's. Go dogs. Yes, sir. Appreciate you. All right, Camden Gibson, with us on the Swasu Coaches Show. More coming up next. When it's time to unwind, pick up a bottle of your favorite stuff at Butcher's Wine and Spirits in Weatherford. All the top brands at the absolute best price. From whiskey, bourbon, gin, and scotch to your favorite craft, import, or domestic beer, Butcher's has you covered. And when it comes to wine, Butcher's has the best selection in town. And don't forget to check out their sale rack with deep discounts. Butcher's Wine and Spirits on Main in Weatherford. Your parents have always protected you and provided the best way they knew how. 
Now it's your turn to make sure that they are taken care of. Corn Heritage Village and Rehab of Corn and Weatherford is a community providing long-term and skilled nursing care to enhance the lives and meet the needs of individuals and families. Their mission is to provide the highest level of care for your loved ones. Visit them at cornheritage.org or find them on Facebook. Families and CK Energy Electric Cooperative, it's the ideal partnership. CK Energy makes every customer an owner of the business. Unlike other electric utilities, CK Energy exists to make sure your needs are always met, not to make a profit. We are locally owned and operated, and we are always there with you, reinvesting in your community. That's why in an electric co-op, the people have the power. Owned by our communities, committed to our members. CK is your energy. On the corner of Custer and Main Street in Weatherford, More Than Medicine stands ready to fill your prescriptions in a fast, friendly, and professional way. They also offer an outstanding selection of gifts for people of all ages. Their Gold Crown Hallmark card selection is second to none, and More Than Medicine is the perfect place for a bridal registry. All this, that's why it's called More Than Medicine. Corner of Main and Custer in Weatherford. They're on call for you 24 hours a day. That concludes this week's edition of the Swasu Coaches Show. Thanks to our guest this week, men's basketball assistant coach Keith Richardson Jr., also from women's basketball, head coach Kelsey Music, women's basketball player Bethany Franks, and Camden Gibson from men's basketball. I'm Mike Smith. Thanking you for watching this week's edition of the Swasu Coaches Show. Until next time, so long, everybody. Right.media.